Hi there, my name is Maria Desmondi. I am a local children's author living here in Michigan. I've published two books, Spaghetti in a Hot Dog Bun and The Juice Box Bully. I've been asked to do this online interview by a blogger who would like to um, review one of my books. And so I have a series of questions I'm going to go ahead and answer. If you'd like to find out more about me, you can go to www.mariadesmondi.com. I visit schools all across um, Michigan, and I travel around presenting on anti-bully topics, writing topics for all grade levels. All right, the first question is, what is the last book you read? Well, I'm currently reading a Nicholas Sparks book called Safe Haven. And I read about 12 children's books a day to my daughter. Um, we read books when she wakes up in the morning, before she goes down for her nap, and before bedtime. So um, let's see, before nap today we read the belly button book and a couple others. So, All right, what were your earliest memories of writing? I remember writing notes to my friends, and I saved a ton of them. And I also got in trouble in school for writing notes. But I was constantly writing notes back and forth, folding them into cute little shapes and passing them during class. And so that was one of my earliest forms. I also remember writing notes to family members, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. We spent a lot of time with my grandparents. Um, were you encouraged to write or was it something that came natural? I think it's something that came natural. In kindergarten, I started writing in a diary and I haven't stopped. I have 18 completed diaries and they're very personal. And I also write in a journal for my daughter, Ruby, as well. And so um, I think journaling really came easy to me because it was an outlet for me to write about my life and what was going on. Are you working on a new book? I am, and actually my editor is coming over in an hour, and we're going to be working on my newest book, which is almost finished, and I will be sending it out looking for a new literary, literary agent or um, a new publisher to work with. All right, what do you do when you're not writing or promoting books? Well, I am a huge fan of photography, so I like to take online classes. I also like to take my photography and journal my um, life and my daughter's life and our family life. And so what we do is uh, we take a lot of pictures together with my husband, Ruby, and I, and then we go ahead and, um, well, I go ahead and digitally scrapbook them. And so I do a lot of Photoshop editing, and I create these books off of Shutterfly, and they're awesome. I just, I have a lot of fun doing that. Okay, how did you come up with your characters? Well, the character in my first book, her name is Lucy, and Lucy is based off of my own life, about um, situations that I remember from my childhood of being teased and tormented. Um, and then in the newer book that I wrote with Bob Sorensen, I co-authored The Juice Box Bully with him, and both books were illustrated by Kim Shaw. We did not use anyone from our own lives to create the characters, but many of the characters' names come from people in my life, like my daughter Ruby, my husband David, and my Uncle Pete. All right, let's see. Um, how do you react to a bad review? Honestly, I take my bad reviews to heart. I've read one on um, Spaghetti and a Hot Dog Bun, and I consider everything that that blogger said when writing my third book. So one of the things that really bothered her was that in Spaghetti and a Hot Dog Bun, she felt like Papa Gino really taught the lesson to the character instead of allowing the character to figure it out on her own. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that. However, I made sure that it was very clear in this new book I'm writing that the character is figuring out the problem on her own. All right. What advice would you give parents on selecting the right books for their children to read? Well, I have two suggestions. First, I would suggest, if you have the time, to make a trip once a week to the library and make it a really fun experience for you and your child. Allow them to pick out the books. Allow them to browse books. Talk about what you see in the books. And allow them to really get interested in choosing their, their books. And find a special basket in your house to store the library books and make it a big deal because you don't want to mix them up with your own books. My second advice is to make sure that you choose some books. Maybe have your child choose three and you get to choose two. But choose books that teach life lessons because it's a great way of teaching character traits and important lessons such as 
you know, lying and bullying and teasing and friendships, you can teach them through books. And so the messages come out in a really fun and exciting way, and you're not constantly lecturing your child and trying to teach them, you know, how to live their life, but they're learning it through um, the literature that they're exposed to. What advice would you give to new writers? My advice would be just to write. Don't worry about the mechanics, the um, you know conventions, writing conventions, the grammar. Just have fun with it. And find what you're really passionate about. I love to journal. And so that's what I really like to do in between my books is I journal. But if you are into poetry, write poetry. Don't tie yourself down to something that it is not um, exciting for you. Find something that you're passionate about, even if it's lyrics or it's writing music. Um, but just go for it and um, allow yourself to be creative without holding back. And all the editing and all of the revising can come at a later time. The final question is, is there anything else you would like to share with our readers? And yes, there is. I'm very passionate about what I write for children. And all three of my books have to do with friendships and about bullying. And I think it's really important for teachers to um, and parents to read my books and to share them with others because I think the lessons learned are huge. And I, I really live my life towards empowering children to know and believe in themselves and to understand that they have the power to make a difference. That children have the power to stand up for others in a bullying situation and to make a difference. And so I'm very passionate about what I write about. Um, if you'd like to find out more, again, you can go to my website at www.mariadesmondi.com. My books are sold online at Amazon, in local bookstores. And you can also contact me on my website if you'd like to find out more about me visiting your school and talking to your students. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.